Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. friends throughout this course we have seen about equation of motion for longitudinal motion equation of motions for lateral direction motions where its modes of longitudinal motions that is sphygoid and short period your lateral direction modes spiral dutch roll and roll then we saw about transfer functions and how the response transfer function will respond to step input and impulse signal we also saw stability augmentation system and how your required zeta and omega n will be changed using the stability augmentation system. Now, today we will be focusing on mode shapes and what we will be learning what is the importance of mode shape and what information do we get from mode shapes. So, mode shapes. We will be learning first longitudinal mode shapes. Mode shapes and lateral direction mode shapes. So, let us first focus on longitudinal mode shapes. Longitudinal mode shape. Now, first question which comes into our mind is what is a mode shape? Now, mode shape is basically your relation between your a longitudinal derivatives that is the relation between your u, your alpha and theta. What will be the relationship or how they will affect each other in terms of magnitude and phase. What is the relation between these three variables in terms of magnitude and phase. So, the best way of deriving the relationship between these derivatives will be to use the longitudinal equation of motion or you can say longitudinal equation of motion free from elevator deflection and gust. As we have already seen while deriving transfer function and uh, various modes of longitudinal motion. The derivatives or differential equation for longitudinal motion were u dot minus g theta into cos theta 1 plus x of u into u plus x t u into u plus x alpha into alpha plus x delta e into delta e w dot minus u 1 q equals to minus g theta sin theta 1 plus z u into u that z alpha into alpha, that z alpha dot into alpha dot plus z q into q plus z delta e into delta e. And third equation was q dot equals to m u into u 
plus m t u into u plus m alpha into alpha plus m alpha dot into alpha dot plus m q into q plus m delta e into delta e. This was already derived uh, well we were deriving terms of function and uh, fugoid and short period mode. Now, as we told to derive the relationship between this longitudinal variables, you have to neglect the elevator inputs as well as any disturbance or gust. So, let us uh, remove this or neglect this term due to delta E and making suitable substitution in this equation as we know that alpha equals to w upon u. So, using this equation or using this formula you can substitute the value of w in this equation and your equation will be in terms of alpha. So, making required substitution and neglecting delta e and taking Laplace transform of that, the equation will be getting will be of this sort. Xu into u of s minus x alpha into alpha of s plus g cos theta 1 into theta of s equals to 0 minus z u u of s plus s into u 1 minus z alpha dot minus z alpha into alpha of s plus bracket minus of z q plus u 1 s plus g sin theta 1 into theta of s equals to 0 and minus m u u of s minus m alpha dot s plus m alpha into alpha of s plus s square minus m q s into theta s equals to 0. Any thus derivatives which you encounter in, in this equation, either it is neglected or you can assume that it has already been incorporated in your derivatives here. Dividing this differential equation by theta s, we will get because we want the relationship between these uh, variables, we will get equation as s minus x u u of s by theta of s minus x of alpha alpha of s by theta of s equals to minus g cos theta 1 minus z u u of s by theta of s plus s into u 1 minus z of alpha dot minus z of alpha alpha of s upon theta of s equals to z q plus u 1 s minus g sin theta 1 and your third equation will be minus m u u of s upon theta of s minus of 
um, m alpha dot s plus m alpha alpha of s by theta of s equals to minus s square plus m q s. You can write this differential equation in terms of matrix and we have already seen while deriving transform function, you can use that Kramer's rule to derive what will be the value of u s upon theta of s alpha s upon theta of s. As you can see, this has three equations and two variables. You can choose any of the two equations and solve for u of s upon theta of s alpha s upon theta of s. So, representing it in a matrix form, we will get s minus x u minus m u using equation 1 and 3. This is equation 1, this is 2, this is 3. I am using equation 1 and 3, you can use any of the two equations. My matrix will be in the form minus x of alpha minus m alpha dot s plus m alpha into u of s upon theta of s alpha of s divided by theta of s equals to minus g cos theta 1 and minus s square plus m q into s. Now, best way to derive the relationship between u s and theta of s is using Kramer's rule. So, u of s upon theta of s will be determinant of replacing this first column by the value of this matrix that is minus g cos theta 1 minus s square plus m q s minus x alpha minus of m alpha dot s plus m q divided by determinant of this matrix so my u x of alpha minus m u minus m alpha dot s plus m alpha. Now, the denominator in both the cases that is u by s and theta by s and alpha by s upon theta by s will be same. So, determinant of this matrix will be, let us call it as d, d will be minus d will be minus m dot s square plus x u m alpha dot minus m alpha into s plus x u m alpha minus m u x alpha. Similarly, the numerator of this ratio will be, let me call this as n 1. n 1 will be x alpha x square plus m alpha dot g cos of theta 1 plus x alpha m q into s plus g cos theta 1 m of alpha. 
similarly you can derive numerator for alpha of s upon theta of s which will be determinant of s minus x u minus m u and replacing the second column by your matrix minus g cos theta 1 and minus s square plus m q s. Let me call this s n 2, numerator 2. The value of n 2 will be minus s cube plus m q plus x u into s square minus x u m q s minus m u g cos theta 1. Now, I have got the relationship between u of s upon theta of s in terms of numerator and denominator as well as alpha of s upon theta of s in terms of numerator and denominator. Now, the ratio of this will be in complex form since the value of s are complex. So, you will be getting this ratio in terms of complex number. Let u of s upon theta of s be in some form of complex number say numerator 1 plus j of omega n 1 and d 1 plus j of omega d 1. So, the magnitude of this will be equals to root under n 1 square plus omega n square divided by d 1 square plus omega d 1 square n 1. Yes. And your phase will be tan inverse of omega n 1 upon n 1 minus phase tan inverse omega d 1 upon d 1. Now, using the values of longitudinal derivatives for a business jet airplane, I have already shared the derivatives on the forum. You can go and check the values of these derivatives. These derivatives were used for deriving the transfer function as well as when we will be doing the numerical for this section, the same derivatives are used in both the sections, transfer function as well as for mode shapes. You can go and check the forum. So, for the derivatives, longitudinal derivatives for a business jet aircraft, my values of this derivatives m q x u r my m alpha dot equals to 0 0.407 x u m alpha dot minus m alpha equals to 7.451 x u m alpha minus m u x of alpha equals to 0 0.0465. For u of s numerator n 1, the coefficients which we calculated will be minus x of alpha equals to minus 8.46 m alpha dot g cos of theta 1 plus x of alpha m q equals to minus 20.985 g cos theta 1 
and alpha equals to minus 238.336. These were for u of s. Alpha of s similarly that is your numerator n2. The coefficients will be minus 1 m q plus x of u equals to minus 0 0.9485. Minus x u m q equals to minus zero point zero zero seven zero minus m u g cos theta one equals to minus zero point zero three five two. Using the derivatives. Now, we can calculate what will be the transfer function of longitudinal perturbed equation of motion, which we already derived while we were studying transfer function, which came in the form of A s 4 plus B s cube plus C s square plus T s plus E. This was the characteristic equation of my longitudinal equation of motion. Now, substituting the derivatives we have already shared on the forum, the value of a to e will be a equals to 675.9, b equals to 1371, c equals to 54 D equals to 86.30 and E equals to 44.78. So, the roots of my characteristic equation will be lambda 1 and 2 equals to 1.008 plus minus 